Hi, and congratulations on completing week seven, interpreting apocalyptic prophecy. Uh, now, we had two discussion posts this week and one assignment, uh, so I know that everyone was quite busy early, and I appreciate uh, all the work on not only creating your two discussion posts on time, but also on engaging in discussion over the weekend. I know that that's quite a bit of work, uh, and I saw several of you who were very active, and I really appreciate it. So our goals this week were to engage in theological reflection on the relationship between eschatology and ethics, to articulate an understanding of apocalyptic literature, to exegete an apocalyptic passage from Daniel, and to defend a position on the correct interpretation of like the Son of Man. Uh, and I saw a lot of great discussion on that. Um, I, I don't think many came to different understandings of the passage, but you supported yourself very well. Uh, so in, for our written assignment, interpreting the apocalyptic genre, uh, in Sandy's reading this week, he compares the apocalyptic visions uh, of the book of Daniel with similar visions in Re Revelation. He summarizes how one should interpret the genre. Uh, the apocalyptic paints impressionistic pictures, and then he goes on to talk about brushstrokes and the idea that we need to stand back uh, and not work too uh, closely. Um, I think the papers were, were good. What I wanted to see was not only interaction with Sandy and interaction with the Bible, uh, but I wanted to see some outside research on do others uh, agree or disagree uh, with Sandy on this. So you could have looked at Klein, you could have looked at Duval, you might have pulled out a uh, commentary, um, could very well, well I'm, I'm trying to think of some other resources. There are several that you, you've had over the course of your time at Moody where you could have looked back and said, okay, is this type of hermeneutical approach um, to uh, the, the apocalyptic prophecies uh, an appropriate one and uh, so I was looking for that type of, of research and level of engagement. For the most part, folks did a very good job. Um, a few people I felt could have gone a little bit deeper into their outside research or supported their position in a little better way. Uh, but that's a, pretty enough on, on there. So then we look at our discussion in 7.1. Uh, uh, they have, you had two discussions. One was to summarize and discuss your positions on assignment 7.1. Uh, I think on whole, again, people did a very good job. I did notice that some people posted their assignment 7.1 and their paper at the same time, which means you didn't allow for the discussion to change your opinion. I didn't count off for that. I just thought it was interesting. Uh, I would have liked to see you engage in discussion and then pull some of that discussion into your paper um, as an example of growing and learning as we move, but that's just me. So then on to Son and Son of Man, uh, people did a good job here. I again was looking for some outside research um, and some engagement perhaps with Enoch and Second Edris uh, from the Intertestamental Apocrypha uh, to be able to fulfill kind of this discussion. Uh, you could have looked, looked at Dearman, uh, might have looked at a commentary or two. Um, another thing to look at uh, um, is the New Te Testament. As we explore this passage out of Daniel, is there perhaps a difference? In other words, in the Old Testament, uh, the readers might have been able to say, yes, this could have been the archangel. Uh, but as we read the New Testament and go on to Revelation and other literature, uh, it tends to make clear that this is a messianic figure uh, and not merely an angel. Uh, so I wanted to see a little bit of discussion there as well. But on whole, this week, everyone did a good job. Uh, I do know that discussions take a lot of time, uh, and I really appreciate the, the effort uh, to engage not only in creating two discussion posts, but then uh, engaging with others on it. Um, so email or call me with any questions. Grades will be posted later on Tuesday, which is when this video comes out. 
Uh, and then we move into week eight and finish up the course. I know that everyone is excited about getting to the end of the semester. Uh, please be aware that there is a lot of work in week eight. Um, so don't uh, let up now, keep the foot on the gas pedal as we finish up the course. So with that, uh, there we go. Have an awesome week uh, and thank you for all of your efforts.